So when you hear about water and uh, water issues in the news, you may not realize or be aware that often this water is categorized. And it's categorized by its form or its function. So you hear about streams and you hear about lakes. You may hear about drinking water or groundwater or surface water. But as a colleague of mine said to me early on in my research, you really shouldn't think of it as groundwater or surface water. It's all just water. And I think this represents a really important shift in the way that we think about the valuable resource that is water. We need to start thinking about it in the context of the system as a whole, which is the sum of its parts. And in my research, I'm looking at how these parts sum together, so and how they interact. And in doing so, I'm building a better understanding of how groundwater and surface water interactions occur. Specifically, I'm looking at how these occur during the summer low flow periods, because in British Columbia, during the summer low flow periods, many streams rely on contributions from groundwater to provide the, uh, the base flow. And this base flow is uh, essential for providing, sustaining the streams to uh, provide fish habitat. So it's critical for fish habitat to understand these connections. So in my research, I'm looking to evaluate how can we tell how sensitive a stream is to changes in the groundwater conditions. And changes in the groundwater conditions can arise from climate change and land use or a combination of the two. And in these types of scenarios, you can have a situation where you go from a gaining stream, where the groundwater is, is discharging to the stream and sustaining the flow, to a situation where you have, in the worst case scenario, a losing stream. And in that case, the stream may be discharging to the groundwater, or you may lose that connection between the stream and the, and the base flow connection. And this is devastating for fish that are relying on this sustained flow during the summer. And so <clears throat> from this, it's, it's, you can see from this, it's really important to understand this connection. And so I'm going out and measuring, um, measuring field parameters to understand how connected the streams are to their groundwater counterpart, because not all streams are as strongly connected as others. And so the more strongly connected a stream is, it goes to reason that the more um, sensitive it will be to changes in the groundwater. So the field parameters that I'm collecting are forming a foundation for a risk framework that will um, help to identify this connectivity between groundwater and surface water, and it'll incorporate the components of the, of, the, of the whole system, the groundwater and the surface water, and it'll be modeled into the framework of water security. And the goal of this is to have a risk framework that can be used in climate change adaptation strategies, and also my personal goal for this is for it to be used in water management policies, and in doing so, I hope to broaden the definition of water to include the sum of all the parts. Thank you.